Hello there everybody and welcome to another speed draw drawing. This is the more extended version. This beautiful, beautiful character called Anari, who belongs to Sugoi Seal, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and um, who drew one of my OCs and made him look amazing. Um, and my OC and this OC have purple and black in common, so I chose to draw this guy because purple is my favourite colour and I do really love his design. Um, he has a little mouse called Belle or Baby Belle, like little cheese, because they both really like cheese <laughs> and they like stealing cheese. It's adorable. They're um, D and D characters, so the um, guy is a tiefling, tiefling. I'm sorry, I've not done a lot of D and D things <laughs> when I was a teen. Yeah, but I'm really socially awkward, so I don't really do it anymore. But I respect the hell out of everyone who can, I'm just really bad at improvising and I'm a little annoying at times. But anyway, back to this beautiful D&D boy. Um, I really liked how like well defined his facial features were, I wanted to try and keep to them as close as I could without just copying, so like while I was still within my art style. Um, and obviously I have quite a few demon OCs so I, I like a lot of the features added on to this. Um, and to bring in my kind of like heavy dark outline and I decided to do all of his straps and belts in black and the buckles for them in silver and um, just to again bring in my style a little bit. I did a good few hours work on this um, and I really like how it came out to be honest. I tried a few different things like changing how tall he was and stuff but then eventually I moved back to um, making him as tall as he started off as and I think that works better. He looks a little bit like less bulky in my art of him versus the original art, but to be honest I, I just need to get better at drawing bulky guys and bulky women. Bulky anybody's really. <laughs> Which I'm trying to do. Obviously I picked this character and then um, didn't do too well but I did try and change how his shoulders and his width were. I tried to focus on giving him like quite a big upper body part. <laughs> and torso, that's what I mean, and the naked legs. I did find his hair a little bit hard to interpretate, but interpretate, interpretate. I, I don't remember which words right now. Dyslexia. I think this came out pretty cool in my opinion. I see you guys are halfway through it, but I think even the sketch, it was a pretty good play. Um, I've been using this kind of rougher, sketchier brush for outlining on Art Fight because in uh, my day to day drawings, the thing that takes me longest usually does tend to be outlining because it'll be draw line, control Z, draw line, control Z, draw line, control Z. And that is, that is killer for. It just doesn't work for me, you know? I, I need to not rush myself when I'm doing art fight. But I also need to not be absolutely taking forever because I just want to meet cool people's OCs and try and draw things that I haven't drawn a hell of a lot of, sort of thing, you know? and also drop things for people who draw for me because it just inspires me so much to see any art but like art of my characters is just something else entirely because I just see them in my style and obviously when I hire people to draw them seeing them in other people's style it just brings a new level of love to them for me like I love interpretation of characters and I like trying to interpret characters you know trying out different shading things but I think this came out pretty good without having it be uber complicated. Um, without being as well super simplified. <laughs> I do want to try and do something lineless maybe for like art fight but I'll see if the opportunity brings itself up. I've saved a few characters and then every now and then when I'm not really inspired to do anything I'll just go search through welcome home <laughs> characters. So keep an eye out for more art from me of that because I literally just finished recording it thing for it. Oh, uh, I would be interested if you guys have any OCs you think I might find cool, whether they're yours or somebody else's, especially over an art fight. You can find me there as Kai McTrash. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think of this piece of art. And I think that's about it. Oh yeah, feel free to like or subscribe. It does help me out to know that I'm not just speaking out into a void. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!